you guys good morning it is thanksgiving and it's another vlogmas um so we're gonna do like two vlogs for thanksgiving because this vlog i'm gonna be putting up my christmas tree and then the next vlog i'm gonna be making myself thanksgiving dinner i'm having um thanksgiving solo this year but we'll talk more about that in that vlog but right now we are watching the family business on netflix and i'm about to drink some wine now I'm like, oh, this is the wine that I have in there. It's the Double XL Peach Wine, and it's 16%. Six, oh, I was like, oh, baby, do I want this? Like, do I want to be lit while, while putting up the Christmas tree? I guess so. So this is going to be my first time. Let's go ahead and try it on camera. Let's note that I am 29 years old. I am old enough to drink alcohol, okay? Okay, YouTube, before y'all try to come for me, we're going to do a little... A little drip drop in the cup and this cup my cousin got me for my graduation it's so cute it's so me like it's either I'm colorful or I'm like black as y'all can see um okay so I got a little drop in here smells good that's liquor that's liquor that's liquor. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's liquor. Oh, that's liquor. Oh, okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to drink some. We're going to drink. We're going to drink some. So, this is how much we got in the glass, right? Y'all. Yeah. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. This is like you going out and you want to drink something real quick. This is what this is. To tone down the taste a little, I'm going to add my zero sugar um, mango passion juice because I I can't drink that straight. I'll be too up to the floor of trying to um, put the Christmas tree up. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be like that right now. And like I said, I'm watching Family Business. I'm on season two. And I'm like, yeah, I like this show. They standing on business in this show. But let me show y'all my mixture. My mixture. See, now it tastes like juice and I like that. I'm going to add a little bit more. This is going to be my only glass. I might have another one for dinner. But for right now, this is going to be my only glass. So, got the double XL. And I got the juice. And it makes this. Mm -hmm. I can tolerate that better. But let's go ahead and put the Christmas tree up. I'm so excited. Okay, y'all. So I don't know exactly where I want to put my tree. I don't know if I want to put it right here where all this crap is <laughs> that I still have to put up. Or if I want to put it over here by the window. I don't know because like in my mind, I can picture it by the window. And I did like sweep them out over there already. But then I can picture it over here by the island. And I honestly don't know. So that means I have to unpack it and see where it looks better at. So let me go ahead and do that. Here are the ornaments that I got. And I'm gonna start putting the hooks on them. Here are the hooks that I got from 
pop shelf, I believe. They're just green hooks, and I'm like, well, it goes with green, so it won't be tacky. So, yeah, I'm going to sit. And like I said, I'm watching Family Business. Y'all can hear it in the background. But I'm going to sit and put the hooks on these, and then we're going to decorate this right here. Here are all the ornaments. They all have hooks on them. Look how pretty this is, y'all. This is so pretty, and I thought it was going to be tacky because... The hooks are green, and I was like, the tree is black. So I have this pretty, we're gonna focus. Is it gonna focus? There we go. Pretty green, emerald green one. I think my favorite is really this um, sparkly, like mint green. That is so pretty. Look how beautiful that is. And then also this gold one. This gold one is my other favorite. Like, look how pretty that is. And then, of course, we have this white one. It's like, I don't know how to, it's very textured, which I like. Let's see if we can get that to focus. And then we just have this light gold I want to say ornament and I'm still watching family business this is what I'm watching today let's see if we can get that to focus and so next thing I'm gonna do is I have these pine cones right here and it goes with the theme and so I'm just gonna take these out the box and just have everything laid out before I stop start putting it on the tree so I'm just gonna have the ornaments and the pine cones and then I also have some birds that I'm gonna show y'all next that I'm gonna put on the tree Okay, y'all, so this is how the tree is looking so far. It looks kind of bare, but it already has pre-lit lights on it, and this is 50 ornaments. And I was really trying to figure out, like, where to put all of them, because, you know, you don't want, like, your ornament colors to be too close to each other. But I did the best that I could do. Even tried to make this side look cute. See, now that I'm looking at it, I need to move some ornaments over. So that's what I'm about to do. Okay, y'all, now this side looks better. Okay. Ooh, oh, Lord, I'm knocking over stuff. This is what I have knocked over my pictures that I still need to put up. And I found these at Home Goods. So it's this one, this one, and that one. But those are going to go up later in a different vlog. Not today. <laughs> but let me pick these up and then put the pine cones on the tree. Okay, y'all. So this is how it looks with the pine cones on it. And I think three boxes of pine cones was perfect. I like it so far. We getting somewhere. We getting somewhere. And now the birds that I was talking about adding. They're right here. Only got eight birds, so let's see where we can place these at. Hey y'all, looks like it's coming together. Here are the birds. Everything is coming together. I think it looks so nice. I would. I think I'm also the person that likes it filled with ornaments, but I don't want it to be like too overwhelming. Now that I'm looking at it, it's looking a little bare right here in this area. Just a little bit. Let me let me shuffle some things around and fix it. Okay, yeah. So it looks better. It would also look better if it didn't have like all oh, that crap right there. But it's okay. We getting somewhere. We getting somewhere. So next, we're gonna add the star or the topper, I should say. And this is the topper that I got. Let's back up into the light. Look how it goes with the tree. Isn't that cute? So let's unbox this and put this on top of the tree. Okay, yeah. So, I 
I don't think I like it right there because the star, I love the star. Like, don't get me wrong. I love the star. But it doesn't have, like, the pine cones and stuff on the other side. So, I don't know. Like, it looks awkward right there. Now I'm like, where should I put it? Because I don't know. Like, should I put it by the window? People do that. People put their Christmas trees by the window. But I was like, mm, do I want to be different? But then I do walk a lot right there as well. Yeah, I'm going to move it. Let me, I'll, we'll be right back. We, <laughs> we as in me, we will be right back. Hey, y'all, so this is the tree. I had to close the blinds, but this is the tree so far. I am happy with the results. I think I like it right here. Let me back up. It is right, oh, there we go. Right here by the window. I think it'll look pretty. At night time, I'm gonna put the skirt down there and add some ornaments that I'm gonna show you out in a minute. But I think I like it better right there and out of the way. Because right here, it was in the way. And there's the crap. I <laughs> put it over here. But yeah, let me show y'all the ornaments. Okay, y'all, so I know I showed y'all like the tree being right there, but I kinda don't like it right there either. So I'm really trying to figure out like where I want it to go. Like where should I put this tree, y'all? I could put it where the mirror is, but then I got to find somewhere to put the mirror. And right now I don't have nowhere to put the mirror. This is hard. <laughs> I don't like mirrors in my room, so that's a no. Unless I... No, that won't work either. Y'all, I don't know where to put this freaking tree. And I need to start cooking for Thanksgiving. Hmm. I don't know. I think it would look cute in a corner, but it's like, what corner would it look cute in? You know? Let's, let me figure this out, because at this point, I, re I truly don't know. Like, I don't like it right there, because it blo I like the windows, and it blocks the windows. And I don't really care if people know if I got a tree or not, you know? So let me figure this out. Okay, y'all, so after being Bobby at the Builder, I finally found a place where I like my tree. It's going to stay there. I'm not moving anything else. I was just like, do I really want to give up my view? No. Do I really want to put it by the island? No. Do I want to move this mirror and try to? No. So I'm about to show y'all where I put it. And then I'm going to take a break from this and start on my chicken. I need to start cooking. I need to start cooking. It's two something. I haven't cooked anything. Um, But after I like cook the chicken and like put it in the oven, then I'll show y'all the ornaments and all that those things. But let me show y'all where I, where I put the tree. So this is the final place of the tree. And I went, I went ahead and put the skirt around it. So I got this um, tree skirt from Pop Shelf. And I wasn't going to get it, but it really ties in with everything. And I just have um, it plugged in right now, y'all, because I'm over here unplugging stuff, baby. I didn't unplug the internet <laughs> and everything. So I got like this, this little extension cord thing right there. But yeah, I think it looks cute. I wish it was like closer to the wall. I feel like the tree is leaning. But it is a little bit up here. Like, I wish it was like this. Like, the tree was leaning back. Like that. That's better. But, yeah. I think it looks cute. Look at the topper. I love the topper. I wish the topper had lights in it. But so far, so good. Look how the birds look. The pine cones look. This is a grown woman tree. But yeah, let me go ahead and start on the chicken and then we're gonna finish the tree. Okay y'all, so the chicken is seasoned. It's in the oven, it's gonna be in the oven for about two hours and 10 minutes. I like mine cooked well done and a little crispy. And it's gonna be juicy, I can't wait to show y'all. But now I'm about to show y'all um, the extra ornaments that I'm gonna put on top of the tree. And I've also made the decision to just make this one big vlog of me putting up the Christmas tree and have a Thanksgiving 
by myself so yeah so let me go ahead and show y'all these ornaments that i'm gonna add i don't know if i want to like i know it's like gold on the tree but like do i want to add silver because it look a little naked y'all like i'm not we'll see we'll see but let me show y'all the ornaments that i'm definitely gonna add to the tree for like a little personal touch i mean it's very much giving grown woman tree but I always have to have like a little razzle dazzle to it. So let me show y'all these. So the first ornament that I am going to add to my tree, one of my kids gave this to me last year. I don't know who, but um, it says peace on earth. And it's an angel, a porcelain angel at that. And I'm gonna make sure I'm careful with this because it is glass. So this is one ornament that I'm gonna be adding. Another ornament that I'm choosing to add, it says number one teacher on it. And I just think it's cute. And again, one of my kids gave this to me and it's gold. So I think it'll be cute on the tree. Next, I'm gonna add this really cute snowman. Um, looks like he's on a swing. And it just goes with the theme of the little um, cranberries with the pine. I honestly love it. I also have this very obnoxious <laughs> Santa Claus. Again, one of my kids. All these ornaments that I'm showing you, my kids, my past kids that I've taught, that I've taken care of, has given me these ornaments. So this is another one that I'm going to add to the tree. I'm definitely gonna add these angel wings. I know that we're not doing pink this year. I did pink already, but I think the angel wings would be cute. This is just a regular snowflake, but I'm gonna add it because again, one of my kids in the past have given this to me, so I wanna make sure that I have this up in memory of them. And this is gonna be the last ornament that I add onto there. It says, it is the most wonderful time of the year. And I actually made this. I got um, everything from Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree is your friend during the holidays. Hey y'all, this is the final look of the tree from the top to the bottom. Here's the topper. Here are the ornaments It's placed where people can see them clearly if anybody comes over here. Um, it's like really random, like peaks of red, but it's okay. But I like it, it looks good. The skirt really ties everything together. Let me step all the way back. Let me not hurt myself <laughs> while stepping back. Um, but this is what it looks like. Let's go from another angle. Yeah, I like that I put it right here. I like that, I like that. Yes. So happy, uh, my black Christmas tree. Okay, y'all, so we spent really all morning putting the tree up. Isn't that crazy? So the chicken's in the oven. I'm about to start getting into it. I gotta cook the cabbage and the mac and cheese. I have to cook the cabbage and the mac and cheese, um, which shouldn't take long. My mom gave me a recipe for the cabbage. That should take like 25 minutes, 30 minutes, to be honest. Macaroni and cheese should take about the same because I'm going to boil the noodles and then I'm going to bake it in the oven. And then I have some rolls that I'm going to hook up. So let's, let's get into the cooking. We're still watching the family business. I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish the show before I go back to work. So yeah, let's, let's finish cooking. I'm so happy we got the tree up. And now let's get... You know, let's get back to Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay, y'all. So, while I was getting the uh, macaroni cheese together and cutting up the cabbage, I talked to my brother and my mom. Um, y'all, I tried to get footage of me washing the cabbage, and it just... Yeah, y'all not going to see me washing the cabbage, but just know that it was washed... Um, I need to get the cooking because this is the hour left for the chicken. So, yeah, we have the chicken broth boiling along with some water. I mixed it with some water. Um, so, after that gets to a boil, I'm going to put the noodles in. I'm going to go ahead and get started on the cabbage. Still watching family business. And I'm going to check in with y'all when it's almost done at this point. Because I feel like we've checked in a lot. We've talked a lot. 
I'm tired. Um, I'm thirsty, so I'm also about to drink some water. And yeah, I'm gonna check in with y'all later. Hey y'all, so here's the food. I'm so excited. That macaroni and cheese is delicious. So, not gonna lie. Y'all, that's my macaroni and cheese. It's so good. Got my chicken, my roll, and my cabbage. This is Thanksgiving dinner for one. Okay, you guys, so I am about to enjoy my Thanksgiving dinner. That means I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys for coming along with me today. Putting up the Christmas tree, me cooking, hearing the family business in the background, y'all. It has been a great day, honestly, um, and a very interesting way to spend Thanksgiving by myself. Well, really, I didn't spend it by myself. I spent it with you all. Um, so if y'all are watching this, thank you so much. I hope that you have a or had a great Thanksgiving because y'all won't see this until Vlogmas. I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. I hope everybody was full. And I just want to say that I'm so thankful for you guys. I'm really thankful for my entire social media family. I am also very thankful for God. I'm thankful for him just creating me and giving me life and putting this breath into my body and also being able to stand in front of that camera and talk to y'all. <laughs> um, I'm also thankful for my family and my friends and my boo. And I, it's just been a, honestly a great day. Um, I've talked to my family and so I don't feel lonely. So that's good. Um, but I'm ready to cut the camera off and I'm ready to enjoy the rest of my night. So like I said, hopefully y'all had a great Thanksgiving and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.